Okay, hello. This is a video of me making up a brood box for a national hive. The brood boxes and the supers make up in the same manner. The only difference is the depth of them. Um, so it's a it's a kit form thing. Very easy to put together. And of course it's cheaper for them to post it to you if um, if it's not assembled. The bar bars that go around the sides come in different different varieties. So there's one that's got a slope which is the bottom one to allow water to, to run off. You've got all the fixings in there. You've got the runners that the frames sit on. And then you've got two short sides and two long sides. So the, the runners that the frames sit on are, are connected onto the long sides. Um, then as much as possible is glued together. Now when the shorter sides are, are put into the longer sides, they need to be 7 sixteenths down, which is a um, it's a B space measurement um, so it just needs to be carefully carefully measured but you can see that there the top side is is fairly square and the bottom edge has got a little bit of a slope on it just so that it means if you get any moisture in there it runs off now I try to get as much glue in there as, as possible to, to stop any drafts for the bees but if there are drafts, the bees do have a, a habit of um, sticking everything together themselves. Um, now it's also important to try and keep everything square because by the time you've stacked a few of these frames on top of boxes on top of each other, um, if it starts getting out of square it, it becomes more difficult. Um, nothing sits quite right. So you want to keep it square and then everything's nailed together. Um, and being a kit form all the nails are marked. Uh, are supplied and marked. Um, and yeah, make sure you keep it square and then all the um, frames get slid in with a dummy board on the end 